and some basic buying your hands into play. Mostly on how he sort of drags the arm to clinch onto the guy's neck in the top right animation before elbowing him. Uh, there's clinching, as you can see, in both of them. And uh, please ignore the gun in the bottom left. You didn't see that. That didn't happen. And uh, that should be it for Pan and Tukin, or Hidden Absolution. So, uh, three games out of six. Uh, I can quickly review one last one. For Honor. For Honor. For Honor? For Honor? Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell? I want to do Splinter Cell. But we're going to do For Honor, you know? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry man. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, For Honor is going to be a quick one. Yeah. Ten minutes late. So, the martial arts used here. It's very subtle, but I wanted to go over it anyway. So, what's used here mostly is uh, Hima, historical European martial arts. Uh, mostly a little bit of Fior di Battaglia and Kunst de, Fe de Feist Feistens. Butchered German, I know. Mm. I'm terrible. Uh, there's also a little bit of Kendo. I'm sorry? Kunst des Feistens. See, I said it right the last time I presented this panel. I don't know what happened. <laughs> anyway, we'll be looking over at Borden and Kensei. There isn't enough time to go in depth in the martial arts, so I apologize. I can answer any questions after the panel. I'll be around. <laughs> so, uh, quickly, the main thing about Warden is uh, his guard stances. You'll see to the left, I got a neat little picture which shows some of the German long sword fencing stances. And you'll see that he does uh, many of these. Although the one at the end is, uh, is a different stance that uh, isn't shown here, so. I apologize for that. Excuse me. Uh, you'll see here that he does the oak. Hang on, I can't see here. Yeah, the oak, the flu, and the alb stances. And he'll he does most of these actually. I'm not showing all of them though. Uh, the main thing I want to concentrate on here is the technique of half sorting, which is actually a historical technique used by knights. The thing is that you grab the blade because as long as you had a firm grip on it, you wouldn't cut yourself. And some long swords were eventually designed to the point where only the tip was sharpened. Uh, it was used for the fact that the cross guard and the pommel was more effective than the blade. It would not go through full plate armor. Uh, the technique is also called is yeah half sorting. And when you strike someone with the hilts of the sword, that's called a mordhau, or the literal translation, murder stroke. <laughs> and uh, I'm sorry guys, but I, I had to throw in this necessary historical meme here. But uh, as, you, as you can see here, Warden is ending a man rightly. Yes! Uh, this, this is actually from the MS Gladitoria. I believe it's another German manual. I'm a bit, uh, I don't remember completely, so my apologies. No one knows if this technique was a joke or if it was to be taken seriously. To this day, no one knows, but the thing is, it took forever to unscrew the pommel. But on the other hand, I heard that there were swords about where you could quickly unscrew the pommel, and some knights would carry around like five of them. I don't know how true that is. That's all I've heard. All I know is that this is a great meme. <laughs> <laughs>